Hey, welcome back everybody. So we are interrupting our normally scheduled programming to bring you an announcement. And that announcement is he requests is back. Yes, and this is the real 100% hero quest done by Hasbro. Uh, there has been a co- countdown or clock going on for this for probably the last month. And I haven't really talked about it because I didn't exactly know what was coming, whether it was going to be a game, whether it was going to go retail or what. But apparently they are bringing it back through something called HasLab, which is the uh, Hasbro kind of crowdfunding Kickstarter platform. And I've never done HasLab, so I had no idea what to expect or what it would be. Uh, But today was the reveal day, and I mean, you will probably start seeing more and more videos on this. Uh, And we are going to take a look, if you guys follow me, at the project. So let's get started. Back to project. When you click on this, this will take you to the game. And this is already 600000 of a $1 million goal. It says once they hit their target, they will begin producing this on November 6th, which I don't see why they wouldn't hit that. But before we look at that, let's see. I believe they have a video. So let's take a look at the video. Justice darkness follows light. Shadows have a way of returning. Many centuries ago, Zargon was my apprentice. He worked hard and learned quickly, but impatience devoured him. He desired to learn the ancient and dangerous secrets of dread magic. Once he learned these secrets, he fled. When I found him, he was greatly changed. He pledged his allegiance to the dread forces of evil, using magic as a shortcut to unlimited power. After a lengthy battle, he retreated to the northern dread wastes. There, he strengthened his forces and once again prepares for war. Zargon has returned, but light always follows darkness, and the four of you hold the key to saving the realm. The Barbarian, the mightiest of warriors. The Wizard, the wielder of arcane power. The Dwarf, resilient fighter and expert craftsman. The Elf, master of both the sword and magic. Your quest is to put an end to Zargon's reign of evil once and for all. The quest is calling. 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 Okay, and so that is the video, which I thought was very well done, very impressive. You can see they have updated all of the uh, art. They have updated uh, all of the images, all of the figures, but they have not changed the game, which I think is kind of amazing in this day and age, unlike what you've seen with games like... uh, Dark Tower or Firetop Mountain where they were changing stuff and coming up with quirky new mechanics. They have left this game unspoiled. As a matter of fact, one of the things I like is they've purged the GW miniatures. So they've replaced a lot of the miniatures. I think, I don't remember which ones it was, but you see these fish people, as one person pointed out, were not in the GW game. So they have gotten rid of those. Uh... 
And there also is no demons in the game. Now, this looks like a demon. I will tell you that. It looks pretty creepy. But this is a gargoyle. And the original game had a gargoyle in it. So, and you can even see where they've kind of made his skin look cracked and uh, uh, broken and chipped. So, I really like that. Uh, I even like the way when they talked about the uh, the magic, they said dread magic, right? So, they didn't talk about... Uh, you know, any kind of deaf magic or anything. Like, they called it dread magic, which obviously, you know, means something not good. Now, I'm going to try to break this down for you guys uh, section by section. And we're going to start with the game first. Then we will start with the uh, campaign. So if you look at the game, uh, you're going to get everything that was in the original box. The furniture, uh, the barbarian, the dwarf. The elf and the wizard. Uh, now they have these things called pulse bonuses. Which these are just going to be given to you if you back it through this. I don't know if this is going to ever go retail. But if you back it through Haslabs you will get an extra barbarian, an extra dwarf, an extra elf and an extra wizard. And if you put them all together basically you will get one of each. You will get one male barbarian one female barbarian, one male dwarf, one female dwarf, one female elf, a male elf, and then this one appears to be a male elf, and then a female elf. So that's how they've decided to do it. Instead of simply changing the characters, they are going to uh, give you different genders. Now this one actually looks just like this one. So there may be there may be a uh, image that got crisscrossed there, like they forgot to switch the images out, because I can't really see what the difference between these two are, uh, even with their facial hair. Although he kind of has a different style of hair, because you see she doesn't have that little lock hanging out. So you will also get a limited time exclusive figure to Ragnar, which I mean this guy is like. Crawling through the dungeon half naked with no clothes on. Looks like he has a chain from where he broke out of his bonds. They say he is a fan favorite. Uh, the monster. So we get our gargoyle. You get your dread sorcerer. Your dread warriors. Your skeletons. Orcs. Goblins. Uh, mummy. Zombies. And abominations. So, again, some of your classic horror stuff. But I don't see anything, like, there's nothing too gross about this. There's nothing uh, grotesque. Now, when you did sign up for this, they asked for your birth date. So, I'm assuming it, it's not PG. They want to make sure it's adults that are clicking in here. Now, these are your classic furnishings, your tomb, sorcerer's table, rack, weapons rack, bookcase. These are pretty much the same, just new modes, I guess. Uh... And so that's what you're going to get. Now, you have two different tiers that you can pledge at. The first tier is called Heroic, which is the base game. And then you will get these items called Pulse Bonus, as well as any stretch goals. And there are stretch goals, believe it or not. The Mythic tier unlocks the two Hero Quest expansions, which some of these expansions sell for more than what they're 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 charging for the whole pledge. Like if you go on eBay and try to get Keller's Keep, you could easily pay a hundred or hundred and twenty five dollars just for Keller's Keep. The Return of the Witch Lord is the same thing. As a matter of fact, I have seen old copies of Hero Quest the board game go for a hundred twenty five dollars, and basically this is the exact same thing, but it's better. Right? So you can't say, well, I don't like the mechanics of the new one. You know, i just rather stick with the old one. This is the exact same thing. So you go down, Return of the Witch Lord, you're going to get some more armored skeletons, a few more zombies, and some mummies. So, I don't know. I don't really know if there's much in there that I would want. You get Reinforced Door, Iron Door. You get Mentor and Wizard, Hero Card, and Witch Lord. So I do like this guy. The mentor. This is the one who basically is telling us the story uh, about uh, about his uh, is it Zargon who went bad, who turned to the dread site. Then you get Keller's Keep. So you can see here, this is another gargoyle fighting with a dwarf. There's some goblins, some uh, some 
some kind of uh, aquatic abominations, and then orcs. I really like the orcs. They have this kind of World of Warcraft look to them. Uh, and so that is 150. Now, if they reach 1.2 million, they're going to unlock this female who was, I guess, sculpted by Nakasone. They're going to give you some more dice, two extra skeletons, two extra goblins, and then a quest book at $2 million. So basically, this is what all Kickstarters do. And I've told people this. You know, they give you extra stuff that they is going to be in the box anyway. So the only thing you're getting really as a stretch goal is this figure, Shauna. The rest of this is just, you know, we'll throw in some extra stuff in each box. Uh, and then these are coming to people that took part in it uh, in putting it together. So if you go and look at the pledge... From what I have heard, this is only available in the U.S. and Canada. And this is going to go for 45 days. It says, then they cannot ship to Quebec. So if we hit shipping policy, let's see if we can verify that. Uh, product availability. We are currently shipping to U.S. states, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Canada APO and FPO addresses, so they're not doing any European or overseas shipping. Uh, even if you're not in one of these U.S. states, you should be able to pick this up uh, online or secondhand or whatever. And it may go retail. I've been trying to look at HasLab products to see if any of these have went retail and actually to see what they go for after... The campaign. So if I click on eBay here, you got this Star Wars HasLab product Jabba Sale Barge. Now I think this went for five hundred dollars if I remember when this was released. And you can see here this person's asking sixteen hundred, which is probably the high end. But if you go down, uh I think the average price that people are asking, I mean some of this is ridiculous. The average price is probably whew, so you got $200 here. This is a pre-owned copy. Uh, you've got some figures that were done through HasLab, which are going for two or $300. Or they're asking. I'm not going to say going. Some of this is like they're selling the boxes. So those prices we're not going to pay attention to. But looks like new in the box, this Java's barge is going for about average of $1,000. Even though I think the campaign, it was selling for 500 bucks. Again, this is just the box. So I don't really think you will lose any money if you pledge to this. Uh, I'm sure once the word gets out, it will hit a million dollars. Now, I do not know how HasLab works as far as if you, uh, if you get charged when you sign up or do they charge you when it funds like Kickstarter. I didn't really, I haven't really read that. Let's see if there's in the terms of service. I did check the shipping in the U.S. It's thirty dollars shipping. So if you do the Mythic pledge, is one forty nine plus thirty. You're going to be looking at about two hundred bucks after they add taxes. So it's still not cheap, but that would get you the expansions as well as the uh, the core game. Uh, let's do four payment and billing information. Credit card amount billed may vary due to promotional offers or changes. We may screen receive backings and orders for fraud. Reverse the right to refuse. Charge your payment method for the total amount of your backing. Uh, may be suspended or canceled. Cannot be verified. Before we can see what your order. So it really doesn't say when they charge it. I guess once you give it to them. Minimum commitment goal. We will provide you will provide your payment information when you but you will not be charged at that time. You are only charged if the project reaches the minimum backing goal during the project backing period. The exact amount you back is the amount Hasbro will collect. If the project has not reached its minimum backing goal, the back you will not be charged. No funds will be collected. Early reservation of charge. In some cases we will reserve the charge on your card. Hasbro and his payment. So that is like they will put a uh, author pre authorization. You can cancel your backing at any time before the completion of the project backing period, but you have to call them. So it's pretty much like Kickstarter, pretty much the same thing. Uh, in some ways, it's more secure than Kickstarter because you're just dealing with them. Uh, 
So they're at about 573,000 on day one. They've got 45 days to go. And word is really just getting out. So let's go through a little more of the pictures before we close it out. This is the GM screen. Or the I forgot what they call it, the Game Master screen. The new male barbarian. The male dwarf. The new female elf. The male wizard. Look at their stat cards. Now, I've heard these are exactly the same stats. Movement, two red dice, starting weapon, broadsword. Movement, two red dice, short sword. So I really like that. The gargoyle and... I don't know what he's called. I don't know if he's called the sorcerer or wizard. I don't think he's Zargon, is he? The The orcs... Like I said, these have kind of a World of Warcraft feel, which I really like, actually. And then these are your items and treasures. Uh, and just a pulse advertisement. Oh, and these are some of your spells. Air spell, dread spell, fire spell, earth spell. I mean, it looks fun. I mean, it really does look fun. It doesn't look like they've they went in and messed with anything that didn't need to be messed with. So... I definitely like what I see. Let's see if we can take a look at the old uh, Hero Quest on Board Game Geek. Uh, just to see what the change was. Because I know the fish people weren't in there. So I, I want to get an idea of what they changed. Now, I will tell you, I, I am one of the idiots that backed the 25th anniversary hero quest and uh, got burned. I got burned to the sum of probably $250 uh, because even after they collected our pledges, which I think was 150 they came back a year later saying they were ready to ship and charged us another $80 American for shipping, which never occurred. You know, and that was the thing that bothered me most. I mean, I understood when you do the pledge, it's 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 a risk. It may not come through, but for them to ask for shipping and collect people's shipping money and never return it or ship, that's where I think the the, the fraud could have came in at, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I mean, the shipping money was not part of the pledge. They just took the shipping money and never shipped anything. But that's another story. So if we look at this, I'm trying to get a picture of all of the starting content, which nowadays there's so much hero quest. It's hard to just get a picture of everything in here, but I think we can find one. So this guy painted his. Let's see what this looks like. So I want to see which ones got replaced. There was something they took out, which I heard somebody else say was because they were Games Workshop figures. So you can see we have, there's still orcs, there's still goblins, there's the heroes, there's some mummies. Looks like there was these uh, warriors, these Games Workshop Chaos chaos Warriors. There's the gargoyle. Uh, I really can't see, though, anything else. Uh that picture wasn't that good a picture. I don't know if there are any Chaos Warriors in the game. What were those? What is that? Lizard Men? I know there's not, not any Lizard Men in the game, but I don't, I don't think there was any Lizard Men in the original box, was there? So let's see here. No, I guess maybe there was some kind of lizard man, a group picture. So, they definitely got rid of lizard man if there were any. Uh, I haven't owned a copy in so long, I don't remember. But So, maybe that is what they replaced with the so-called abominations. Uh, yeah, but that's, that's enough of the old game here. Let's look at this. That's some that somebody looks like they made their own copy. So if we go back to the campaign, I mean, if you just want the original game, you can get that for ninety nine bucks. 
But to get the, the two expansions basically for $25 each, I mean, come on. How do you pass that up? You can literally just turn around and sell them. I guarantee you somebody's going to do this heroic tier and then they're going to want to buy these later. So if you even if you want to sell these later for 40 bucks, that'll get you $80 of your 200 right there. And especially with people in Europe not being able to get this right now anyway, uh, you will be able to sell this anytime you want. So I definitely would say you can back this because, like I said, based on the game itself, based on the content, based on the price, I just I don't see any any real objection to, to not backing it. I mean, it is what it is. It's a fantasy game. If you don't do fantasy at all, then obviously this doesn't this won't interest you. But other than that, if you like a fantasy that has some kind of, you know, some kind of element of danger and fun and excitement, but it's not too gross, not it's not too gory. There's no demons running around or little devils. Then I would say take a look at the. Uh, uh, I would say, I'm not revised hero quest, but uh, <laughs> the uh, reissued. He requests. Take care. God bless. Mm -hmm.